What is the most underrated open AI model? If you were to answer this question, what would you say? GPT-3, GPT-2, GPT-1, probably something else, or even DALI? No, I'm going to convince you that the most underrated model from open AI is open AI whisper. If you have already heard about open AI whisper, very well and good. This is going to be quite a revision. But if you have never heard about open AI whisper, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to about open AI whisper, which is one of the most underrated underappreciated model from OpenAI. And in fact, it lives up to the expectation from OpenAI because it's an open source model. Only people who are new to the OpenAI ecosystem might be surprising because Whisper is one of the best, one of the best, definitely. I can even say the best speech to text model that is available right now. If you talk about only English, Whisper may be one of the best, but if you talk about multilingual, I would definitely say Whisper is the best speech to text model right now. So how can you access Whisper? So if you want to access Whisper, the first thing that I'm going to show you is a Whisper demo, which is inside OpenAI Playground. So you can access, first of all, Whisper using OpenAI Playground. As you know that I do not speak English like an American accent. I speak English pretty much like an Indian. I have a very thick Indian accent and not a lot of speech to text systems are tuned for Indian accent. And I'm going to show you how Whisper does. So let's uh, write something. So I'm going to click the speech to text here and I'm going to start recording. When I start recording, okay, of course I have to give the permission. And then uh, please welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, I'm going to show you that OpenAI Whisper is one of the most underrated model from OpenAI. Let's see what it does. Probably One Little Coder it is going to mess up, but, but again, that's fine, okay. Okay, then please welcome to One Little Coder. In this video, I'm going to show you that OpenAI Whisper is one of the most underrated model from OpenAI. You can see how perfect it is, and it is perfect because OpenAI Whisper is definitely one of the best speech to text model. Now, as you know that you can access OpenAI Whisper from the playground, option one. Option two, you don't need to pay OpenAI or you don't need to pay anybody because OpenAI Whisper is a completely open source model that is available on PyPy for you to use it through Python, or you can go to the repository OpenAI slash Whisper and then start using it. It has got a lot of details. If you literally want to use OpenAI Whisper, all you have to do is pip install OpenAI Whisper and that will install OpenAI Whisper on your local machine. Now, if you're wondering what are the sizes of the model, OpenAI Whisper comes in five different sizes, a tiny model, a base model, a small model, a medium model, a large model. In fact, large has two different versions: a large V1 and large V2. Now, you have for everything, you have an English model and you have a multilingual model, except in this case, large, you don't have an English only model, it's only multilingual. But for every other model, you have an English model and you have a multilingual model. Also, another important thing to notice is OpenAI Whisper can do two things. One, it can do translation also and speech to text is transcription. So you can expect a transcription. What is a transcription? You speak something, it gets transcribed into the particular language in which you are speaking or translation. For example, I say something in Tamil, like we just saw Tirukural in my previous video, Agara Mudala Yeritallam Adi Bhagavan Mudutre Ulagu. So this is my language, Tamil. So if I speak in this language, OpenAI Whisper can first transcribe it to the particular or respective language, and then it can translate it to English. So it can do two things, transcription and also translation. And as you can see that it has got models at different sizes, which means based on the trade off that you have got, based on the requirement that you have got, based on the accuracy that you have, based on the computer memory that you have got, you can pick the right amount, the right size of the model that you want. It has also given the RAM requirements and also VRAM requirements, and it has also given the speed of it. The good thing, like I said about Whisper, OpenAI Whisper, it's not just an English model. While there are so many models that are available for, you know, for example, let's say US accent, especially with English, OpenAI Whisper, I, as far as I know, is a truly universal and global model. You can see the number of languages it supports. You can like this language that I just spoke is Tamil and you can see the word error rate here and you can see so many other languages, even languages, low resources languages you can see here with really good performance. And I think that is one of the biggest, biggest attribute of Whisper where how Whisper is not only for English, but it truly unlocks the globalization and democratization of AI. Now, like I said, you need um, you need a good decent computer to run Whisper. That's what I think we have been always 
discussing whenever we discuss large language models oh probably you need a gpu maybe worst case you can run it on a very high end macbook pro but i'm going to convince you that you can run whisper on any device almost you can run it on mac os you can run it on ios you can run it on android you can run it on linux you can even run it on wasp web assembly you can run it on windows of course raspberry pi that is purely possible because there is a port of whisper from python to c++ that enables to whisper that that enables really whisper to be highly performant and run, run it on any device like all the devices that we just discussed about you can run whisper on you can see a quick demo also so somebody is going to start capturing speaking somebody is speaking now and after they finish speaking they are going to transcribe it and it is actually transcribing it and it took 1.2 seconds on an iphone to transcribe and as you can see this is truly truly amazing primarily because whisper is an open source model because open ai decided to take that route which they are not doing it now so i am definitely a critic that right now they are not deciding to open source it but i am really thankful that decided to open source whisper which is way ahead in the speech to text world like almost like you cannot point any model that is closer to whisper and thanks to whisper now you have whisper cpp that can technically make whisper run on any of these devices that we have just discussed so what have we seen so far in this video we learned what is whisper we learned how to use whisper in open ai playground we learned that open ai whisper can be used as a python package we also learned that open ai whispers whisper cpp can help you run whisper on any device virtually like literally possible also good news is that whisper is available as an api very recently open ai announced that whisper is available as an api where you can do transcription and you can do translation and the cost is 0.0006 per minute and they have made the large v2 model available through the api so here you can see how to send the curl response and also if you are using the open ai package you can literally send the mp3 one caveat here is that it does not support streaming audio which means while i'm speaking right now you cannot send the data there it's not streaming you have to send the payload at once so that is one difference between what you can yourself implement and what whisper has done but still whisper available as an api is a huge thing because now at a very nominal fee you can translate or transcribe and translate a lot of audio files legacy audio files current audio files that are not only english even if it is english in different access or also for low resource languages like my language tamil in this case so now this entire thing about whisper is quite amazing and i don't i don't see a lot of people have been talking about i have got a lot of tutorials about whisper starting from basic installation to how to do it for a different language transcribe a podcast from google podcast so i've got a lot of uh, whisper related tutorials including diarization word level time step or if you would like to build anything in speech to text whisper is definitely the best model for you to go especially if you just do not want english you want to go global multilingual whisper is definitely the model that you should be looking at 